So, Roland, this is not exactly what your dad had in mind when he said, go on down to the hardware <laughs> store, get me a couple cans of spray paint. No, there's a group of professional taggers in town who can turn a blank wall into a piece mm -hmm. of art. And it's pretty amazing to see. But before you lump all taggers into the same group of graffiti vandals, our Don Nelson wants to introduce you to Sector 17. In their theory, they... We first met Hawk and Colin a couple of weeks ago in Boise. Sector 17 was asked to help blast the bench, a cleanup project up a table rock. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> when they're not helping others fix illegal graffiti. Are you talking about like that sort of satiny blue? Yeah. yeah, I'd be down with that. The two are busy doing their own thing, doing something that grabs a lot of attention. <laughs> People get a little skeptical sometimes. I think they'd rather be safe than sorry, so they might call something in. Police might come by, say, hey, do you guys have permission? And that's usually about the end of it. But the conversation of whether or not it's graffiti doesn't end with the last shake of the can. And graffiti inherently, it, like the definition is illegal marking on somebody else's property. Uh, so this is legal, obviously, so I wouldn't consider it graffiti per se. On this day, Hawk and Colin are honing their skills on what we'll call their practice wall. Oh, we thought it'd be cool to have the animals kind of intertwined as one of the letters in our names. The fence is on a piece of property near 18th and State, a place where an old friend inspired them, and now they honor him. This was a uh, during the summertime, we do a barbecue event every year for a memorial of our buddy. He, like I said, he wrote blank, so it says rest in peace blank. Now the two have their work represented all around Boise, including a place called Freak Alley. Our goal is to make everybody think about it a little bit more. And they like to think illegal taggers won't touch their work. And most kids recognize that we come from their same background and they kind of leave us be here. Isn't this weird? This looks like blue, but this is dark gray. As a matter of fact, it's not uncommon that Hawk and Colin will get a call from a homeowner whose fence or garage door has been tagged, asking for them to clean it up by fighting fire with fire. It's usually in those spots that they'll turn to someone like us who can put like a real legit coat of paint, a mural or whatever on there, and then it prevents it from getting tagged and from them having to paint over it again and again. Gonna go grab some colors and get onto the meat of the project here. So next time you see some graffiti, take a good look. It may be Sector 17 just spreading a little more color into everybody's lives. To make people happy when they see it, you know? And I mean, if you can make that happen, for somebody else, that's what I would love to inspire. Now, how oh, cool is that? They're amazing artists. I'm blown artists. away. Yeah, amazing and, and artists. I'll say a couple of things here. First of all, people think of you know the spray painting and the tagging. Sure. They are taking a negative and making it into a positive. Right. Yeah. You know, their commissioned artwork uh, is can be seen around town. Sure. Uh, you can see it in Garden City. You can see it in downtown Boise. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're helping out up at the the cleanup table project. Rock. Yeah. I love it. Up at Table Rock. Uh, so it, it is quite amazing. When you were out there, can you see, I, I would assume this, no. but you... No, I know what you're going to ask. Can you, I can't visualize you it. You can't visualize <laughs> it at all. You can't even see it as they're spraying it. Because, I mean, who knew it was going to actually turn out like yeah, that, Yeah, glad we right? saw it at the end there, the finished product. Yeah, it's, and it took amazing. them, I think, about a, about a week. To about do, a week to do, about do that. A, about a week to do it's that. It's interesting, though. It fits really well in, say, the north end of Boise. I don't think you would see much of that over no, in Meridian. No, absolutely not. Just, no, that's fair. In a different area. That's fair. And in the historic uh, sections of town, too, you won't see it there. Yeah. And again, we want to point out, if you do see any illegal tagging or illegal graffiti, sure. call 343 COPS. We want to make right. that clear. Such great artwork. Difference. I wish we could see it over yeah. in Meridian. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Don. Thanks, Don.